Hi everyone. So today I'm talking about Azure DevOps. So I love Azure DevOps. I use it on many of my projects to manage requirements and, you know, epics, features, user story, and so on. And one actually uh, tip that I learned on a project that I did a few months ago, uh, one of their BA was using what we call item templates, right? So the trick is, is I'll show you how he showed me how to use those templates. And since then, I have been using those templates on many other projects. Um, so let me show you how it is and what it's used for. And then I also cover today how you can quickly create templates to really speed up the creation of your items in Azure DevOps. So if I open my board here, um, you can see a completely new board. So effectively I have, you know, my epics features and user stories. So let's say I want to create a new user story under this feature, right? So I would say number seven, let's say a case merging um user story so effectively to pre-populate the fields you can pre-populate them in the settings area as well right but a handy tool if you don't have access to that settings area or if you don't have access effectively to change some of the fields here what you can do is you can effectively use what we call templates right and i have one here for user story templates so each item type you can have templates for each of the item types so i have one for the user stories and if i click here i can see that it kind of takes from the templates the content of some fields that i've saved in that template and pre-populate your your item right so i have in my description as a user i want actions so that benefit and you can add as many as you want and then i have also one for my acceptance um, criteria right where i have one acceptance criteria the way i kind of write acceptance criteria most of the time with some examples if i work with a new team member new team members this is kind of valuable to share with them some example of acceptance criteria that I wrote in the past that might be handy for them to kind of learn from and replicate. Um, so this is effectively how you would, you know, pre-populate user stories, but you can reuse those templates if you have tasks, bugs, epics, features, you can use those templates to kind of uh, pre-populate any of the item types. So how effectively now to create those templates, right? So it's really about those templates. You create them from existing stories. So the easiest way, if I were to create a template for your user story is effectively, I would create a new user story and then I would fill in, in that user story. I will fill in the content that I want. So as a persona, I want intent so that benefits. So I can have this, I can add maybe some, uh, design ideas here and then acceptance criteria. I would add some good example of accept acceptance criteria or some templating of acceptance criteria, right? So given, um, I some, something, something. So I can kind of, kind of pre-populate here the, the, the template that you want to save as you have seen in my, in my previous video, you can effectively even, uh, set priority to be all starting at four, right? Or the design field that is a custom field. You can pre-populate with some, you know, entities, um, views, everything that you kind of forms, reporting, everything that you think you will need to think of when designing, right? Once you kind of are happy with your fields and then you save and what you, once you save, you can kind of go into the templates and capture. Once you capture, it will actually pre-populate uh, the, some of the fields that you filled in already with the values of your user story. Remember to save that item first. So if I go here and then I say, um, template for user story two, for example, I can now decide what I want to save in my template. Acceptance criteria is good. Area path I'll remove. Description is good. Design is good. Iteration path I'll remove. Priority I wanted to keep. State, title, and then URL as well. So I want to keep those four fields. Once I save, my template is effectively ready to be used. And if I want to create a new story now, I can have my template to be used and everything will be pre-filled, right? And as I said, you can create those templates for any item type. So I use them mostly on user stories, sometimes features, just to make sure that, you know, when you have good sections to document features, I would use this to kind of document the feature with some subsections and so forth. And I can save those um, feature template as well. 
Voilà. I hope that you like this quick video about DevOps. Um, and if that's the case, please give me a thumbs up and don't hesitate to subscribe again um, if you want to see some more content so that you can see it coming in your notifications. See you to next time.